Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz, start the car, I know the whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's just a noisy hall where there's a night limp. Tutorial. Today, Steelmate's flow has got some pretty tricky transitions in it, but I know if you keep at it, you will master them in no time. Um, so we're going to start with our mace on the ground, our hands over the mace, and I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to cross it over and hook it in front so that my foot is hooking onto that globe, and I'm going to use that to kick the globe up. So you're going to tilt the mace hook it around and you're going to kick it up and catch it. So I'm down. At, um, from here, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to let my free hand slide along the tail of the mace. And as I do that, I'm going to flip my globe hand around so that I can cross into step four and I'm going to tap the tail on the ground. Um, I sort of think of this as if you had a dance partner and you were dipping your dance partner. That's how we explain it. So from here, we're going to hook it around, we're going to catch the globe, and dip your dance partner. Now, I've conveniently got this underhand grip here, and I'm going to push the globe away from me so that I can create some momentum, so that I can take it into a shoulder roll. So slow motion, we're going to push the globe away, and you want to catch it on the back of your shoulder. Uh, this can be scary the first few times you try it. Be careful you don't smack yourself in the head. I find when I'm learning, I get my students to chicken wing their elbow out to the side to create a bigger landing strip. And then uh, I also use a guide hand until you're comfortable. Um, once you're comfortable, as that globe starts to come down, you're going to take the tail hand and catch it by the globe, pinky to the mace. We're going to finish this off with a wrist circle. So we're going to just continue the motion of the tail all the way around in that okay grip with our hand in one wrist circle. And then I'm going to grab the tail hand with my free hand so that I can go into a single arm 360, landing in landmark number two under overhand grip. Now I'm going to take, the, if my globe is on my right side, I'm going to take my right foot, but I'm going to stretch my right foot as far away from the weight as I can as I use the mace as a counterweight to lean. So I'm going to lean, and then I'm going to pop up on my back foot, transition in a prayer, finishing in landmark two on the other side, lunging away from the weight. Now I'm going to do that exact same thing. So my mace is on my left side, the weight is on the left side, I'm going to take my left foot, stretch it as far away from that weight as I can, then pop up and down. So we do that two times. I'm going to do a prayer transition and shoot an arrow over my bent leg as I push up into a tall active stance with that lunged leg so that I can lean into that arrow even more, creating an even more beautiful line. From here, I'm going to take the tail, tip it over my shoulder, and I'm going to come center and squat down as I send the globe as high above my head as possible. Grabbing it with the opposite hand, I'm going to continue in this one arm arrow, lunging towards the weight. Then I'm going to continue the globe down to a single arm cross body bottom, again lunging towards the weight. I'm going to grab the weight and then I'm going to slide away from the weight. So we've just created this circle, this big circle with the globe of our mace. So again, from our arrow, tall active arrow, we're going to create this big, giant circle with the globe, just like that. Now I'm going to push the tail down and around, and I'm going to go into a backwards sword swing, pushing the mace. So the backwards sword swing leads with the tail, just like that. And I'm going to use my free hand as my guide hand on the globe. And I'm going to go three sword swings, just like that. So from here, I use my guide hand to push the tail behind me, 
One sword swing, two, three. Notice that I'm using my hand on the globe and I'm keeping that globe nice and low and the tail is leading the way as opposed to a frontward sword swing where the globe is leading. I'm gonna do that one more time. Push the tail away behind, down and back, down and back, down and back. On the third sword swing, I am going to bring my elbows in tight, sending the globe out to one side, my free hand out to the other, and my mace is pushed in tight to that forearm. I'm stepping behind in step number four, and now I'm going to do a behind the back transfer. Behind the back transfer, bringing the globe up to the other side. From here, I'm just gonna uncoil my legs, but as I do that, I wanna raise the mace globe so that the tail clears my body. So as I rotate behind me, I raise the globe so that the tail clears my body, and I'm gonna reach for the tail with my free hand, and I'm going to lunge away from the weight in a cross body bottom position. And then I'm just going to do a high diamond transfer to bring it back to the front. So all my feet are doing is stepping together and then stepping back out again. And I'm just transferring the weight in this high diamond swing overhead. So again, uh, from here, high diamond transfer to face back to the front. Now, I'm going to slide my tail hand up my mace so that I can go into a mill. As I do that, I'm going to push off my bent leg, and that bent leg is going to step behind. So I'm stepping away from my mill. Now I'm going to cast and go into a guillotine swing as I step behind with my opposite foot. So I'm going to step out as I cast and step behind as I go into my guillotine swing. From here, this is a little bit tricky, we're going to do a neck roll. So I'm going to stand uh, straight forward, I'm going to hinge so I'm bent over a little bit, cast, I'm going to set my mace around my head and you have to make sure that the tail is higher than the globe. So you're going to be catching it with your free hand. As the globe comes down, I'm going to catch it as it falls, making sure that I'm catching it with my pinky to the mace. This will take a few tries to smooth out, don't worry. And then I'm gonna pull the globe down into an uppercut. From here, all I'm gonna to do to finish the flow is stand up to crossbody bottom, warrior stance. I'm gonna flip that globe hand over so I can push the globe down and up into a tall stance all the way around and back down onto the ground where I'm all set to go on the other side. So I'm gonna hook the mace, flip up that globe. I'm going to lay down my dance partner, push the globe away into a shoulder roll, into a wrist circle, into a single arm 360, find my landmark number two, lunge away, up and out, lunge away, up, and out. I'm going to come into an arrow over my bent leg as I push up into tall active, lowering the handle behind my neck. I'm going to squat down while I raise the globe up, lunge into that single arm arrow on the other side, lunge into my crossbody bottom, and then pull my weight away as I pull that handle out. From here, I'm going to push into that backward sword swing. So I'm going to push the tail down and around using my guide hand, down and around, down and around for the third time, and then I'm going to lay it down behind me. So the mace is behind me, and then I'm gonna come up behind the back transfer to go to the other side, uncoil my legs, find the tail with my free hand, lunge away from the weight. I'm gonna switch my feet so I come up into that high diving transfer. Then I'm gonna push off my loaded leg. My tail hand's gonna slide up my mace, stepping away into the mill. I'm going to switch feet, stepping into my guillotine swing. Then I'm gonna come center into that neck roll. Remember, you have to let the tail come higher than the globe before you release it, catching it pinky to the globe, pulling it into your uppercut. Then I'm gonna come cross body bottom, warrior stance, flip my globe hand, push the globe down and around into my tall stance, 
and then reverse it, flipping it all the way over and down on the ground. There was a lot in that one. Message me with any questions, tag me if you try it, and flow on, my friends. Start the car, I know the whoopee spot, where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's just a noisy hall, where there's a nightly brawl.